Budget LS Factory 5 Roadster, rear end, unboxing, inspection, coming right up. So as you probably know, uh, factory fire requires a forward rear end, and ideal, ideally it's for a, a specific width, which is from the uh, Ford Mustang Fox body, which was 1987 to 1993. This makes the axle uh, 59 and a half inches wide. Now the problem with that is, on those uh, year Mustangs, they came with four lugs and drum brakes. So if you're going to get an axle from an 87 to 93, you got to have it converted to a five lug and then disc brakes. And that's what I had done here. I had looked locally to try and find something, but uh, I couldn't find one local, couldn't find someone to do the conversion for me. But I happened to go on eBay and just simply type in um, factory five and I think axle, rear axle, and sure enough, there's a company that does uh, these conversions, and this was right about just over $2,000, and then it was another $600-something dollars uh, to have it shipped here. It came all the way from Georgia. One of the options you have is to get an axle from Factory Five, and they're made new. There's nothing, nothing used about it. It's a uh, new, new housing, new gears, new everything, um, and uh, new brakes. And it's quite a bit in my uh, last video. Um, you know, it's probably, it's probably. I mean, it was over three grand. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to stay on budget, so I think that this was the best option. Um, I could have done this on my own, figure out how to do it, but I just think it would have slowed me down. It's going to take me, I don't know, a couple of years just to get uh, get this thing up and running, where I can turn the key, let alone drive it. So this this you know this was a, a savings as far as uh, time and money and skill and know-how. Forte's Parts Connection used to offer remanufactured axles, but he doesn't do it anymore. He says that they're hard to find. Um, but, uh, and, that's, and that's what I did. I did get a, for Dad's 33 Hot Rod, I did get an axle from uh, Forte's, and uh, it was great. Um, but Forte's Park Connection, he does now offer uh, new axles, you know, just like Factory 5 does. Also in the build manual, uh, Factory 5 does say that they can accommodate the wider axle of a uh, 94 to 98, which does come with five lug and disc brakes. The problem is, is you need to modify that axle, shorten it, and I think you got to do some kind of uh, bracket on uh, for the disc brakes. That was also something else I didn't want to get into. Um, in addition, you may not be able to use the, the wide tire, 10 and a half inch rim with a 315 tire is what I'm going with and I'm going with the rims and tires from Factory 5. So we're going to open this up. Um, here's the picture of what it looked like in the eBay ad. Hopefully uh, it looks just as nice and uh, very similar. Uh, we're going to measure the width of this to make sure that it is the correct width. And uh, we'll see how it looks, coming right up. And the irony is not lost on me, I am wearing a Chevrolet t-shirt sitting over a Ford Axle. Let me find my shop assistant and we'll get this open.
One thing about this brake that came pre-installed here with this square banjo and this flexible tube and this bracket, uh, it's my understanding that this all needs to come off because on the kit, this brake line is actually connected uh, up to the uh, frame. And so the brake line kind of hangs right in, right in here down as opposed to uh, paralleling the axle here. In addition, the uh, banana bracket goes right around in here and I'll have to look at other build videos or check the uh, build manual and uh, that definitely doesn't leave any room for this brake line here. So this whole thing I'm pretty sure needs to come off. Well that's it. I'm pretty pleased with what I got. The thing looks brand new. Uh, these brakes, they're a little dainty, probably a little undersized. We'll see though. That'll probably be upgraded first after a few drives. I think I gotta remove this brake line as I mentioned. These bushings come out. I'm gonna upgrade the hardware uh, to stainless steel back here. And uh, I gotta see if there's fluid in there. But thanks for watching.